So you've brought some documents that you say prove that you were indeed an employee. One million percent. Um, actually, what the defendants did just last week uh, is they filed a motion to dismiss our case in New York. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter made their motion public. And uh, in that motion, of course, they not only deny that I was an employee, but they also admit that I signed employment contracts with American Idol Productions. So it's qu quite con you know, contradictory. You know, th the same instrument that they're using to try to dismiss our case, they're both admitting and denying my employment status. So I brought the paperwork and the contracts in just to kind of help clear their foggy mind a little bit. It seems like they might have forgotten, even though they just sent me the email with the employment documents last year, Fremantle Media. Here we have one of my check stubs. As you can see here, it says American Idol Productions, Season 2. This has federal and state taxes being taken out. This is an acknowledgment and receipt of employment at will. We got the I-9 form that we filled out for them. Hold it up good. That's the I-9 form that you have to fill out for them. Uh, this is an employment deal memo filled out uh, by myself with American Idol Productions and AFTRA. And it's signed uh, by the production management. And lastly, for the employment stuff, we have a standard AFTRA engagement contract. This one just had a guaranteed days of employment is one, but we, I, of course, have several of these. So... You uh, you were arrested in 2002? I was, for the first time in my life. I was it was dismissed? It was dismissed. I was arrested for trying to keep the police from taking my middle sister, my middle youngest sister, to juvenile hall. Okay, and that was dismissed before you even were on American Idol? Before I even auditioned. So you were never convicted? No, uh, I actually ended up getting convicted of obstruction of justice after they reopened the case against me. So you were charged again while you were on American Idol for the same, for the same crime that was dismissed. And then you were convicted of it. I, I took a plea deal to obstruction of justice. And as far as what they're saying about what they knew and what they didn't know, they claimed on March 31st when they fired slash disqualified me that they had just learned about this arrest, that had I told them about this arrest, it might have affected my participation on the show um, it was such a shock to them, and that's why they felt the need to disqualify and fire me. Um, this is dated April 2nd of 2003, however. Those hardcore American Idol fans might remember that I was disqualified March 31st of 2003. So I thought that was kind of funny. I'm like, why the hell are they running a background check on me three, four days after I've been already fired? You know, that didn't make sense. Their whole point of disqualifying me was that they ran this background check previous to disqualifying me, you know? They ran a criminal history that was clear all the way until you get to the second page, and the date changes from April 2nd, uh -huh. 2003. You'll see it changes to January 15th, 2003, which is two months before they hired me and three months before they fired me. Here, you'll see that it says adverse under status for Shawnee County, Kansas Municipal and District Court Criminal Record Review, R.E. Corey Clark, or Clark Corey. And my name is spelled right. But they said in their report that my name was misspelled and that when they ran the background check that it didn't come up. So this is from the background check company themselves, and it shows that not only did the charge come up in January 15th of 2003, but also that my name was spelled correctly. So that means American Idol was lying. Go going through that process, I found out not only was it really not a contest, um, but also that they had the unfettered right to pick the winner, whoever they wanted to. There's supposed to be a contest. They could disqualify you for whatever reason. And they did all of this up front to be able to obtain that criminal record history. The reason why it's illegal the way that they did it is because they were asking illegal, they were asking for illegal information and they were asking illegal questions, according to the law. Now, what is the illegal information there? Uh, the way that the law in California spells it out, when somebody's filling out an employment contract, you can only strictly ask them about convictions as an employer. You cannot ask them about things that have been expunged off their record. You cannot ab ask about arrests that had not resulted in a conviction, as in my situation. And in American Idol's case, they specifically ask about arrests, detentions, uh, uh, expunged records, everything that they're not supposed to ask about up front. And the reason they do it up front is because they're having you sign all this paperwork that says you're not an employee. So 
the way it looks to you is that legally they can ask you whatever they want, they can do whatever they want. But then once you make the top 10, they make you an employee. And it, it was at that time after they hired me that they decided to use the illegally obtained information to fire me as an employee three months after they already knew about the arrest. The, you know, they're saying well, our statute of limitations is up, right? Yeah, 10 years is a long time. A long time, right? Well, if you didn't want me to sue you 10 years later, then you should have stopped talking about me 10 years ago. Now, Jermaine Jones is the only other finalist in the history of the show to be disqualified besides myself. Both of us are black males, so they've only the, the two finalists they've disqualified in the history of the show have been black males. And everybody else that they've disqualified during the 11 and 12 season run prior to us uh, filing these lawsuits was black, whether they were male or female as well. Uh, they have never disqualified a white contestant openly. If they have, it was quietly. It was done behind closed doors. White, Mexican, Asian, doesn't matter. If they were not black, they didn't, dis they didn't get disqualified publicly like myself, like the Brittenham Twins, like J. Red Andrews, uh, like Tommy Daniels, Akron Watson, Chris Golightly. There's nobody. So people will say that Ruben stuttered. In fact, he won the year you were on. And Fantasia, that that proves there is no racism at American Idol. I've heard that. Uh, and and I, I can understand why people would feel that way. And that is not what we're here talking about. We're not talking about affirmative action, that you need to hire more black people. Uh, what we're talking about is the fact that they, f they hired black people and then only fired black people over criminal arrest history information. Never anybody else. 